change the occupancy to the PIC, just go for the okay. PIC, gotcha. and the, the other request is you need to change the um, the occupancy on the, 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 the full liquor license. To add the outdoor seating? Yeah, the outdoor seating. Okay. So, thank you once again, Mr. President, Dan Toscano, uh, I represent Billy Tees, who's uh, to my immediate right, who certainly needs no introduction, has been this neighborhood since uh, mid-1990s, operating, running and operating uh, the Billy Tees restaurant. A nice uh, family uh, restaurant that's been here uh, accommodating uh, our families for many years and we want to stay here and remain uh, uh, a business in the neighborhood for your records is public uh, notice meeting addresses and um, the application for the Boston licensing the addresses include you know the, the abutters on Commercial Street right next to Billy T's restaurant Fleet Street a few buildings on North Street it was the, the Prince, the 63 Atlantic, yeah. 63 Atlantic yeah. Ave and 28 Atlantic Ave, which is uh, Lewis Walk. So, so, so what we've done is we're in the process. We haven't applied yet to the PIC because in order to apply, you have to really put together your packet, and your packet really includes a uh, number of public agencies and a number of private agencies, uh, neighborhood input, etc. <coughs> I'm in the process of putting that together. I'm a few letters short from the public agencies. Should be done within the next week. And I present my uh, full completed application for public improvement uh, commission. So I can, you have two hearings. The first one is a preliminary hearing before the public works. And then you have a full hearing. And and, and then they vote on whether you can on. The second one, which is uh, the proposal for the Boston licensing application you have is to expand the seating capacity. Right now there's a, uh, 90, 90 people. We need to expand it to 110 to include 20 outdoor seats. So, like I said, so what we like to do is to add 20 outdoor seats. Um, what we can, what I'm showing you here is... You said 90 to 110? 90 to 110. Here is the property. Uh, this is the brick planter that's in front, and I'll, I'll pass the board around. And then we're going to have two patios, two locations. One which is out front of the the, the bar here, which is going to have approximately 12 seats to uh, six tables of two. And then the other side where the sushi bar area is, that all these doors open up so there's no construction that needs to be done. And have another little patio area, approximately eight seats with four tables of two. Um, and the requirements are there's 10 feet of space from the brick planter to the wall. You need a minimum of six feet for the tables and it has to be fenced in, so six feet, and you need at least four feet of space for pedestrians. There are, um, so we, exactly, we have 10 feet from the plant to, to the restaurant, so we meet those requirements. In addition, as you, I know everybody's familiar, familiar with the um, project, uh, that area, there's another sidewalk that can come around here, but we want to leave this space open, so it's a straight walk through. Um, I do have some, <laughs> colored photos on the other side so people will take a visual so it's going to be two locations now the reason why it's two locations if you want to pass it around just to take a look the reason why it's two locations is to accommodate the 20 seats now in order for to have outdoor seating you have to have the seating has to be continuous to the restaurant so if you notice um, where the two areas are we have the front door that we'll utilize which is where the sushi bar is and you can exit the front door and immediately enter the seating patio uh, on the facing it to the left side and um, there's another entrance uh, emergency exit in the bar area you can immediately come out and enter that area there we are not having any changes to the closing hour the closing hour ability has been operating the license at midnight um, since he's had the license and the we're not proposing any change uh, we know how the, the neighborhood it has some concerns with late night noise and changing the hours to a later date so a later time 
So we are, change, we are not changing the, the hours of operation that it remain the same, closing hour and midnight. Um, in regards to submitting, I said, I'll be ready in about a week submitting my proposal. And uh, I've talked to a few of the neighbors. We had a zoning licensing uh, construction subcommittee uh, here before the Lura and heard some concerns with some trash. Spoke with Ms. T about maybe putting the trash at a different location. So we're hoping we can accommodate some of the residents that um, have concerns with trash. I did speak to a few residents on the telephone too today and over the last week about the trash. So we will, you know, obviously keep it as clean as we can. Uh, I mean, yeah, question. When you say submitting plans, what is when you, what, what do you what do you actually you submit do? a natural petition for to use the public way okay. for the private purposes, and you, you submit it to the uh, PIC, which is the public. And you'll take those commission. plans. Everything is in. those plans are submitted. It has to be by a, a, a licensed surveyor or a, a licensed civil engineer. Okay. Um, those plans were done by George Collins, Boston Survey. So those are the plans that were submitted. Um, already to be <coughs> however my packet hasn't been submitted which will include my letters from these eight public agencies which include neighborhood services transportation department parks and recreation department there are about eight private com uh, agencies that had to submit a proposal not proposal uh, a request to get a response which includes Verizon Comcast make sure that there's no wiring on the need or we're not going to disturb any anything uh, result of number. Uh, there is a contract that we signed um, with the trans I mean with the public approval commission which is a seasonal contract which will probably they start at the end of April and when the weather gets a little nicer and they took the, the license will terminate the seasonal the end of October and you, and you lease that particular year. So uh, we, and we're in the process of putting it together. The patio is open, but it wasn't in the place for the entire operating hour space. Correct. 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 With the lights of the board and mm -hmm. the Well, the windows on the, on the front of the building open to the patio? They are they've open now, so they will open. So that's why there's no construction really that needs to be done. So we're going to open them up, put the tables. We have to put the railings in because we're selling alcohol. Those railings um, at the end of the season will just come come up and be stored. Anyone else? Any questions from the council? No one? Can you just give a couple of examples where there's precedent in the neighborhood um, at the outdoor seating? And is that the same case in terms of they're actually you know, using public space for the private use? Uh, the, the living room, I know, went through uh, the PIC uh, committee as they, they got a number of outdoor seats. I don't know how many. Um, I, I'm not aware if it's Starbucks, you know, did the same. But whenever you do have outdoor seating, you have to go before the PIC. But I know the living room uh, did it. Can I ask a question? Sure. The, also, the PSC, the, the again, as you explained, <coughs> allows you only to put out those cities where there's space to put out those cities. When, yeah. uh, when you meet the, uh, the, the requirements, the, the requirements and the, the follow up. So you have to do a minimum of, there has to be at least a minimum of six feet for tables and chairs and a minimum of four feet for pedestrian, pedestrian access. And that space from the planter to the wall is actually 10 feet exactly. So we, uh, we just make it. And, we, and you know, from the public agencies that have replied so far, no opposition from the public agencies, that we meet all the, the, the requirements. Are you going to serve alcohol? Uh, we have food? The, you know, we, it's one of those things that we hate to put a provision on it. People enjoy having a drink before dinner. People enjoy having a drink after dinner. If the licensing board forces us it, to put a provision on there, of course we comply with it. Um, if my understanding is I'm not aware what their license is. I mean, if that's a provision that you have to have, I mean, part of our lease agreement, we're more than happy to comply. Um, but I think we all know. Really, I don't know if people go there and check. You're going to go to the public improvement commission for the 
for the permission of seasonal outdoor Correct. that basically occupy the city sidewalk. Right. And then you're going to licensing to increase the seating capacity. Correct. To amend it for the all outdoor. Right. We're going to licensing on March the 20th because part of the PIC requirement is to get for licensing okay. approval. So March 20th? March 20th. So you need to get licensing approval so I can incorporate their approval into my packet and submit it to the bank. Does anyone else have questions on the council? Because I'm going to open up to uh, does anyone want to say anything in, in opposition or in favor? And if you speak, please just state your name and your address so we know kind of who's in the director but who's not. No one has any questions? Hey, if there's no abundance here, I mean, I just I'd be interested in I mean, your perspective and some of the impact on this. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. I thought yeah. you guys weren't saying anything. Huh? I I don't have anything to say either way. I'm I'm at 63 Atlantic, John Crampton. Um, we love Billy C's. We eat there all the time. Um, I think it'll be nice to have some outdoor seating and just make sure the mosquitoes get killed in that garden <laughs> so they don't bite us. But um, no, I think it's fine. I don't have, I, we look right at it out our window, and I don't have a problem with it. What was your mattress again? 63 Atlantic. I got you. Okay. <coughs> okay. We're from 63 Atlantic also. We don't have a, an issue. With it. Okay. Thank you. Good to know. You're, you're mostly, you know, I'm right there. Yeah, no, we discussed this in the last meeting a bit. I guess maybe my bigger concern when I looked at it is at four feet. Kind of creating a bottleneck in the sidewalk, and it, that's pretty narrow. That's like two people abreast. Well, I mean, it, I, yeah, I, I mean, speak up for them. Pick will pick public approval commission. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with All that. Right. The, the, the this um, ADA up in City Hall will deal with that. The, the, you know, oh, disability. Oh, yeah. 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 What's that? The uh, yes, I mean, no one, yeah, no one has a, an issue. We meet all the requirements. Um, the, other question, the, other, the other question that I have too is on that one, it, it, this is all sidewalk, isn't it? That's all sidewalk. So all sidewalk, there's many alternatives. You're coming down, you can actually, if you have four feet there, you can decide to go, or you can go along. Go right, these are mailboxes here, and that's a tree. We just mentioned the distance. Five, four, five yeah. Minutes, how yeah, same, the same. So, I would love to see the city either remove this or well, put something. That's been an, an issue. I've talked with some of the neighbors. Um, and, and the abutters that I mentioned that this has been some problems. I mean, and I spoke with Billy about it. We would love to be able to do something with it. It's maintained by the, the landowner. Of, uh, although the city owns it, it's maintained by the landowner of uh, uh, his landlord. We'd love to do something with it. I mean, I know there's been some road problems there, but if we can in the future, I, I know we would, but right now the city owns it. That may be a discussion for another day. And, and I mean, I'm just speaking without, without talking with, with Billy about it. I mean, maybe if it was cut down and redesigned, then you know, I'm sure if, if to benefit more if we can get some more outdoor seating and, and relocate this, make it beautiful, beautify. I'm sure Billy you know, no problem paying for all that. <laughs> 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 it's coming to get more of that stuff. Yeah, so. <laughs> I don't mind spending the money. It's not my money, your money. Yeah, so, I mean, there, that's been brought up. So it's something that we may be able in the future, because I know Anthony's is there, and Anthony's may want to may want to do some and participate in, in maybe redeveloping that so you have a little nice maybe a smaller plant and that can easily be maintained and you know, yeah, I know I know some of the bricks so maybe clean up. Anyone else have any questions? Does anyone want to make a motion in opposition or a motion in support? I'd like to make a motion in support. I'll be here as soon as it opens. But I, I would like to have um, food served with alcohol. I think that the the, 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 the licensing board dictates on what they, they can do, and, and, and I'm sure that for outdoor seating, for the sushi bar and the bar, they're going to require him to serve food with him. Okay. I'm pretty sure. <coughs> yeah. So so yeah. They'll, they'll take care of that. Yeah. If they require it. They require it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and the same thing I think with the outdoor version. I think 11 o'clock is, is usually the time that the outdoor patterns are allowed to be used, and 11 o'clock is the time they need to close, and we're going to enforce that too. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if they So actually, before we, you know, that's a good point you just made. One more question before we <laughs> take a motion. 
What are your hours of operation now? Um, uh, 11.30. I open 11.30. Yeah. I can open earlier, but I open 11.30 and then until midnight. Until midnight, okay. Yeah. And then outdoor seating will obviously close before. Time? And I, then I think there's no outdoor seating. I think you have to close the Outdoor seating has to be closed at 11 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So if they tell us during and at least when we sign it's 11 outdoor, then it's 11. Okay. But we, we stay open until And you'll slide the windows closed. Yeah. 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 All right, so does anyone want to make a, a motion? So Tony has made a motion to support anyone second a motion? Second. Marie seconds. So we have a motion to support uh, Billy D's um, seasonal outdoor sidewalk seating to the existing restaurant and plans to uh, amend the current all alcohol beverage license to increase capacity from 90 seats to 110. Is that correct? Correct. All, right. all, all in favor? Okay, nothing. Okay, Mr. President, members of the board, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.